go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here. Welcome to 2022. I'm back on the solo skiff, San Diego Bay. We're at Friday, January 7th, 2022. And I'm doing some San Diego Bay fishing, some wintertime bay fishing for some halibut with Glenn from Sand Dog Adventures and he's got a crew of people with him. These might actually be them right here. Some other kayak fishing buddy at the launch. Some other people. We got uh, really high tides right now going in the winter time and that's what we're making up to a higher tide later this morning. We're gonna cruise down towards Spanish Landing. Supposedly they already went out and grabbed some bait. I'm gonna uh, hopefully bum a couple pieces of bait off of them. The bait that we use here in San Diego to get it from the bait barge. Oh, there's my buddy right there. He's going down to the bait barge on his kayak, which is about a half hour, 45 minute paddle down that way through the fog. But instead, I'm, I'm gonna get hooked up. But first things first, I gotta get my live well turned on here. So this is all plumbed up. I had to redo the batteries for it. But we're gonna go on the inside. I got the fish finder, the Garmin. You can check out the video when I got that. But also here it is. But before we get into today's video, please remember, hit that subscribe button, pound that like button when you see stuff that you like, show love and support for the channel so I keep doing what I do. Check out when I got the memberships coming and you can help support the channel that way too. Buy some hats, buy some stickers. So let's get to it. All right, so I gotta get, first thing first, gotta get the fish finder turned on. We're gonna go with the combo two right here. 56 degree water temp. We got a couple guys with electric trolling motors. All right, now the next thing we gotta do, go on the inside here. Battery wiring that I had to do right here. So here's the wiring that I got right here. I got my six volt lead acid battery in this Pelican case. Then the wires come in through. These waterproof connectors I got off of Amazon. Connect that like so. That starts running this pump right here. And then that feeds the water right there, fills the bait tank. And then I got the other battery right here connected to the fish finder, which I don't know why I'm showing these spots. I don't like that, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go, let's get it. Let's go see where Glenn's at, Sand Dog and the crew. They should be over here at Spanish Landing. Into the fog. Let's see what's going down. We've got some lights flashing over there on the harbor. I'm not seeing the crew. Maybe they're deeper inside Spanish Landing. Oh, I see a yellow kayak. I think they're up over there. Glenn, Sand Dog, pick me up. It's Mikey. You got a copy? Mikey, Mikey, SD Fishing Tips. Yes, sir. We are uh, down at Spanish Landing on the uh, east side of Spanish Landing. Yeah, I see you now. You're, uh, you got some yellow kayaks with the crew right by the bridge. That's a big 10-4. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. How's the bite been? Absolutely horrible. Well, hopefully that picks up. What's the tide doing? Uh, it's coming in until about 12.30. All right, hopefully it picks up. Yeah, we're on an incoming swing right now. I hope it, hopefully it'll pick up here a little bit. So we're one spotty between the four. Any Halley rakes? I definitely missed one. Uh, didn't see him, but uh, definitely missed one. Ten for you. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, there it is. Got the report from Glenn Sand Dog. They're up just a little ways. All right, cruising over here by Spanish Landing. You got the fuel dock. And then Liberty Station through the bridge, that's where they're at right now. So he said the bite's been slow, but hopefully that picks up and it changes. Get some Halley. Is he on a fish right there? Or is he stuck? Oh, 
thought that I thought he was on a fish. Grant was towing him around with the solo skip on the kayak. Oh. <laughs> oh. Have really? you noticed that? Oh, they've been yeah. Like something's going on with them, dude. Something. With your oh. Oh, were you just getting hit? Yeah. Wait. The boat. Polar bear is down at the end by the Sheraton down here at the at the very end. Sorry. <laughs> now look at it, and I got your setup. Oh, you got the this is this right is going? it, right? Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> I love it. That's the yeah, this is the that. sand dog rig right here. He's the halibut master. It's all about the Carolina keeper. Uh, but what size? You use a J hook because they don't make a small, or do you really use a really tiny uh, circle hook? Uh, I use a J hook up at the front, and then I'll just yeah. use in the back. I'll use like a number six to number eight uh, cover. Yep. Yeah, and then you got the Carolina Keeper to keep that J hook in the front. Yep, that's it. We got his fellow solo skip master over here. What up, Grant? How are you? All right. Is that a custom bait tank you made? Uh, I came with it, but yeah. Oh, I got a Milwaukee battery. On the 18 volt for the cord for the tools. Yeah. I haven't had a problem since because the batteries are so good. Can inverter to drop it down from 18 to 12 volts. <laughs> That's what you use for your fish finder. Dude, my fish finder from day, dude. Plus some. How much do those batteries run? You can find them cheaper online. That's a lithium? Yeah. Dude, this is the tool battery. And then That's the same ones I use for all my tools. Yeah. So it's perfect for me. But do the batteries? technology they have in these batteries is so far superior. There's your other batteries. Yeah, yeah that's for those. two six yeah. volts. That's two sixes for the uh, bait tank. The bait tank feeds from back there through this tube. It sits right here. That's the one thing I don't like about the way he set it up is when I have the bait tank in, I have a gallon tank right here. Oh yeah, that's right where your feet are. I mean, I guess I could put it up there or somewhere else, you know, it just depends on how long the tube is. But. That's gonna be close. What do you think, lad? It's gonna be close. I think it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be close. Oh, were you just getting bit right there? Oh. I thought it uh, looked like you. I thought you were getting bit. I think he's gonna be a hair short. But we'll see. I was wrong yesterday. I'm gonna be more of a hair short. Relax. 20. Yep. Dang. A little short. Well, they're here. Yep. Nice, oh, yeah. Len. No, I got a halibut. You got one? Yeah. I need to use my lip grippers, though. This thing's small. I don't have my net. Oh, he, got, he let go. He was just sitting and chewing on it for a while. Small. Ever use these things? Little, uh, yeah. Dang. Look like a like a 15 incher. Got off though. We're at 25 feet of water. That's a good depth. I'm gonna take out my sand dog special rig right here, and I got the J hook on the Carolina keeper with the treble hook trailer put it through the nose on the front and stab it through the back drop it down on the Runkle Titan 2 spinner see what we can get on it I just got bit, nibbled on. Didn't stick though. Sometimes all I, all what I'll do is just let it, oh, exactly, open up the bail. Yep. Dang, that was a nice hit at first. See, that's why sometimes I like to have the clicker on or it in gear, or do you just have really loose drag when you get hooked up? So you don't let them sit and chew it and eat it. Once they first go for it, you try to get them. Well, no, I'll let them, what I'll do is I always try Second 
No, I might have just been caught on the grass. Keeper? Mm. Oh, it's gonna be a little bit short. Probably, what do you think, Glenn, 15 inches? Oh yeah, he'll be a little short. What you can do is, grab him, just, just kinda let a little bit more line out, and then you let the pole out directly over your head, and as he comes to you, then just kinda one smooth move, just right in your lap. All right. He definitely won't, uh, he shouldn't break your line or anything. Yeah, he's not. There you go. Now let the pole almost over your head, there you go. And one quick kind of, Boom. Nice. Go. Boom shakalaka. All right. Number two for the day? Yep. Good. That sand dog rig doing work as yeah, always. Yeah. All I'm doing is doing something that's supposed nice to Nice job. Up. There it is. Getting a little recharge fill on the bait. Another scoop from the boat right here offered it up. Sweet. Mikey's on. You got a net or what do you have? Uh, I have uh, fish grips. Ooh, here we go. Smooth, bringing it out smooth with the runkle. I think this might be a spotty. I thought it was a halley, but it's just a spotty. Dang. <laughs> Bigger size though. Chunky spotty on the runkle spinner. Dang, look at how he chewed off the back half of the bait. Wow. There we go. Okay, so look at that. I've been playing around. This halibut's been getting me last four or five drops, and then I realized it actually chewed off the line above the treble hook. So I gotta try tie a new treble hook, slide this Carolina Keeper up the line. Use my new pliers that I got right here. You can check a link for these in the description and buy a pair if you want. Also, I got these cool test pliers. Here we go, another fish here on the Runkle Titan Spinner. See what we got. Provide some kelp. Yeah, it's a spotty. Another big chunky one. Got the big dog boat going by and still fishing that Runkle Titan Spinner hard. San Diego Bay, we're by the bait barge now. Hopefully we can get a halibut. Got some spotted bay bass on it early. There it is. Another spotty on that runkle. Getting it. Woo-wee! That live sardine. Getting close. 